Well, today is the day that we do the free motion. So I think I'm going to use this right here as the back. <coughs> so I'm going to lay this out this way like that. And then I'm going to lay this out. And I'm going to weave me some at the top. And then, oh boy, I got a big enough table here. <laughs> I want to play with it and get it to where it's long enough. <sighs> like that right there. And I'm going to have to have two pieces because this right here is not going to go all the way across. So we're going to have to, I wonder if it would be better to do it the other way. Let's check it out. See, I think it's the a shorter way. Well, let's get a hold of it. go I might have two pieces yep be the way I go I should have left it and now I'm getting myself into some trouble here Play this rabbit again. Let's chase it down the road here. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Give her a wipe down. and we'll cut me another piece I like this one so let's see what we can do here it's going to take this this one up and we talked about what we was going to do with this quilt and uh, we go to Bantam Chef a lot not not Bantam Chef. What is the name of that? Uh, fish camp. Fish camp. And uh, told Rick instead of us leaving a tip, we would uh, leave her this quilt. And Mom says, yeah, she'll be making out better. Or Rick said it. One of them said it. She'll be making out better with the quilt than she will the money. I hope I got enough uh, 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 biting to do this. That takes up a lot of it, that's for sure. I'm just going to make this one here just a little bit over so that it works better. Yeah, that took a lot of that material. So. This is good for baby quilts, too. Right, try to get back in there. Alright. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to have to open this bad baby up. And we're going to sew these down so we have one great big, a huge, gigantic piece. So, we'll be back. 
Well, got it laid out on the bed, and I need to trim it down. I got a package today, so I'm going to open it. But first, I'm going to do this because Bullet is gone. Rick took him for a walk, so I could do this real quick. So I'm going to take advantage of this, and I'm going to let me go lay the top down on top of it, too. Then that way I know where to cut it at. But yeah, I need to trim this down. Way down. Spread it out here. Oh, I think it looks so pretty. So pretty. And what do I do with my scissors? Okay. So now we know where about where to cut it down at. Alrighty, now then, the next thing I want to do is I want to go get my glue. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this in sections. this right here package. I gotta get it up before Bullet comes in because he got to get right on that bed. I hope I got him trained not to though. Alright, let's see what we got. I love getting me. Oh look! Oh! Air erasable pins. Look at that. Cool. And then heat resistant markers. Thank you so much.
these most definitely will be used. And I have a special place for them, too. I don't know if the sender wants me to say her name or not, or his name. So I really do appreciate it if you want me to say your name, if it's on here, then let me know. And I will most definitely let everybody know who gave them to me. Alrighty, I hope y'all are ready for some music because I'm going to try to do some free motion on this thing with the, uh, the bulk of it. And hopefully I could do it. If not, I'm going to have to figure something else out. But I'm going to do my best to free motion this thing all the way around. Now, um, somebody reminded me that I needed to pull my thread up through the top, which, yes, I keep forgetting. I'm still new at this, but I am going to try my best to do this. I'm sorry about that, Mama Cat. Okay, now you're on my scissors. See if I can do this. Come on, Mama Cat, you're in my way, girl. Alrighty, I did do it. I did, I did, I did. I will make sure I've got enough. Yep, I got enough string to tie it off. Now I'm going to start right here in the corner and I'm going to try to work my way all the way down. And. I'm going to put like a like a flame mic in there, you know, it goes this way down, then a bigger one, and then so forth. So we're going to try that out and see how that works. So here we go. over to the table let's see what it looks like a 
Well, really, it don't look too bad. Now I gotta try to figure out what to do with the other way. And I like that locking stitch, so I'm gonna use that thing more often. And then I don't have to worry about tying these off. But she is right. We should tie these off. And uh, and I really do appreciate that. So I'm going to put some knots in some of these that need to be. I know you probably can't see me, but I'm over here in the corner tying off knots here. And then I got this one. Oh, I got a short one here. Well, it's kind of like weed in there. Let's see if we can't get it unweed. Which way does it go? Nope, I'm going to quit right there and I'm just going to tie it right here. This right here is the better way to do it. I'll tie three of them. Get rid of that. Yep, I think that right there will work just fine. Alrighty. So, now then. Now, probably going at this the wrong way. Because this is the shorter end, and I really need to be going the longer end. So what I'm going to do from right here is I'm not going to do that right now, and I'm going to go down this side. I should have looked at it and planned out my strategy before I even started. But I'm going to leave that one, and I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to start down here and work my way down that way. But that's that. That looks good. I like that. I like that. And I can't wait till I get better at this. Alrighty. Let's fasten you back down there the other way. Alrighty. I put it up on my table. So I could probably have more stability over here. So. I already made one thing going up. So here we go with the rest.
me reposition everything. <coughs> it's getting harder to pull on it. <laughs> Let's see if you can see where Mama Cat is. You see where Mama Cat is? <laughs> She's like, I'm not paying you no mind. Alright. Yeah, this right here is not as easy as I thought. And it's not making no... Not doing what I want it to do. But I am... I'm getting, I'm getting it on there, and all, but this is going to be too big to try to, a quilt's, you know, this is a small quilt, so a bigger quilt's going to be harder to get in there and do, so I'm going to start, just go back to the way I did it before, and do it with, um, you know, with just the squares, like the um, quilt as you go. I think that would probably be my best bet to do with this. Because this right here is kind of hard to do. Because I still don't have no room over here. I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting my hands. To, it's like, like right here. See how it bubbles up right there? I can't get it to do what I want it to do. So, I will figure this out and we're going to go on. We're going to get this one done though. Alright, Mama Cat's on and I'm going to have to get her off of there and then we're going to take a look at it. And then, I'm going to have my day cut out for me. There, Mama Cat. Alright, I'm stopping right here and doing no more to it. As I was watching and editing the video, I noticed this. <laughs> and this right here, this is unacceptable. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like all this right here gathering up and all. I don't like none of it. So see how this right here is just bubbly here and here? I don't like none of that. All that's got to go. So I'm going to take my time today all day long. And I'm going to pick all this out. And I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to sew this bad baby by hand. And make it look a whole lot better than this. Because this is too pretty of a quilt for me to mess up so bad like I'm doing. And I could sew it by hand and make this quilt look even prettier than what it is now. And y'all don't got to worry about it. If it takes me two days to do this, I could do this. And you all won't even know I've done it until after it's the video's already loaded and y'all seen it. Y'all won't even know it. Alrighty. So, we are go I'm going to get started on this. And let me find my stuff that I need and then I'll be back. And then I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Alright, I got one of these great big old huge needles. I got a pair of tweezers. And I got a pair of snips. Alright, I'm just going to pick somewhere. And I'm going to go underneath it. And I'm going to pull it up just as much as I can. And go to another spot. So you hear how I'm doing it. So I'm going to be doing this all day long and taking all these stitches out and trying not to tear up any of the back whatsoever. Oh, 
got some of it done so a lot of it done now I'm going to work on the front of it and we'll find out what part I've done like right here this is where I've done so all I'm going to do is just start taking this right here off you can tell it'll come up real easy there's some spots you got like a knot there but we're going on with it. And I think this is awesomely great of getting it done. And I've still got some on the other side. But we're not going to worry about where these knots are. <coughs> They'll eventually come out. And you know. I'll. Oh, Lordy, what a mess. I've got a lot of thread here. A lot of it. That's all I'm doing is just taking it, pulling it off. Putting it in my tub there. Not worried about these knots in it. Those don't really matter that much. They'll come out eventually. I think I said that. Okay. I've been standing here too long. <laughs> so that pretty well much has them. Except for that one side. Oh, 
this is good. Good, 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 good. Well, can't get it off my finger. So, let's see what it looks like. So yeah, it looks so much better getting it off of there. And uh, getting it back. Now, I'm, I'm gonna sew this by hand. Cause there ain't no need in me making a mess of this thing no more. I'm trying to sew it on that. See, does that take apart? Nope. So that right there. I have down this away and that right there to take apart. And then I'll be done. So it ain't been that bad. And I think Mama Cat, I don't know if you can see her or not. Nope. You can see her little feeties right there. She's still laying there. She's still sleeping there. She says, I don't care what you do. Just don't bother me. Alright. Oh boy, I dread getting a hold of this area. Right here. Alrighty. Let's take a minute. I'll come back and I'll show you some close-up of it. Well, I think you would call this comfortable. It's covered up. Yeah, look at her. Spoilt rotten. Rotten as could be. You know, it's been a couple hours since I took that last video. I went to the store and came back and look at her. She's still right here. I think she's just too comfortable. So we're not going to bother her, but we're going to get busy and we're going to get this. All this right here taken out. So. I still got my big needle, and I got me a little needle because it did come in handy. And I got my got two pairs of scissors, and I don't know what happened to my yeah. Okay, I had to go get a better pair of tweezers, and I still got these. These right here that didn't I ain't you can't really grab material too good with or the thread too good with it. So I don't have I'm, those ain't those ain't no good. All right, so I've only got this little space right here. So we're gonna work on this space, try to get it done. And all I'm doing is going underneath the thread and pulling it up. And I think what I'm gonna do is try to um, get my walking foot out. And I do have like three of them, so. And I'm just gonna go like stitch in a ditch or something like that. Look at that how? Uh, uh. Look at all the thread. This is all the thread that I got out of it. A lot of thread. All right, we got that one done. Let's go on up. All right, gotta go smaller. Uh, we've got a knot in it somewhere, which will be right here. Maybe that got it loose. Yep, that got it loose. All right, that right there is coming from the bottom, it's the front of it. So yeah, it's not really that hard. It's just getting the thread. And you have to watch and not get one of these threads. And there's a couple places that I couldn't help it, but it like snagged it. But they're not really bad at all. Not nothing to take it all apart and start all over again. Right in here is where I'm gonna need that little needle because it's it's smaller. Right in here. Yeah, I thought about sewing it by hand, but I think my better bet is to get my walking foot out. And use my walking foot. Do like stitching a ditch or something. 
Yep. That came off. That's about it. Alright, let's see if we can get us a bigger chunk. It just takes time. Remember, patience is a virtue. And if you can't get them off, don't worry about it. When you get to the front, you're able to pull the top thread. Sometimes the bottom will just come right on out. And I think there's a knot right there, which I can get it from the front. But this one right here kind of grabs the quilt more. And this one right here has got a more of a, a rounder head at, the, at it. And, all. and it seems like it just does it better. Where this one right here is really small. And it's better for the smaller needles. I meant the smaller threads. I, it doesn't take very long to do it. It's just the patience in doing it. And yesterday, I worked on it and got all but this right here done. I said, I'm quitting for the day. I went in there and I watched probably about three, maybe four movies, Lifetime movies. So, alright, that's too big of a bulk. Well, Rick's talking about wanting to move again. So, alright, somewhere I have a knot. Somewhere in there. Alright. Yep, we got one right there. Yeah. Noah and Timmy will not go nowhere. We have tried our best. We've done everything except to call the police and have them removed. And I'm not going. To, we're not going to call the police to do that. We need a bigger place anyway. And he wants to make sure I get a bigger sewing room. He, he likes what I do, too. He'll come in here sometimes and stand and watch me work. So I'm happy about that. Here we got small again. He got nothing for Noah, but he wants to give this to him. Uh, so you ought to be giving us something. Because, man... Well, he just wanted that little piece cut back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to get Noah to do anything. He ain't, he don't care. Alright, now, you see where I got that right there? All I'm going to do is take a snip. If I can. Ouch. I don't want to cut my material. See if I can't do the front. I mean, the first time, Tim, you do it the first time. You think that's not that Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, the first time was going on. There we go, there we go. Split there. Come on, you move. There we go. Got that. And I also got a couple, a little bit of blood on there. What am I bleeding? Right there. See, you got my finger. 
it's not that bad. Sure. It'd be all right. Just a little dot there. All right. Back at it. See, we ain't got much more to go here. Make it easy to do. Oh, we got a big knot right here. See right there? A knot. Alright, this is what I'm going to do to that knot. Without cutting the material. No, you're not going out. He's out there working anyhow. So all it's going to break at its weakest point. Try to remember that. We're almost done here. Back down to this. Boy, somebody's being stupid out there. Oh, that's the weed eater. Sound like a car taking off. Alright, we got that one. Here we are, back in here. Let's get this right here going. I don't want to do that. It's too close together. So, hmm. see what we can do about getting the rest out and come back to fight with that. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I can't help it. I'm still sick. I got up coughing really bad last night. <coughs> and uh, got up, took some NyQuil, got me some water to drink. And today it's like, uh, it's saying you're going to pay for doing that. So, alright, we still got this one. It is like, really really close oh all right I got a little thread here I could probably get a hold of and you have to do some concentrating which so that's good for your mind Got it. Okay, here's another one. It's way out there, so that's good. There we go. Alright, we got a little hole right here and one here. 
where's it going? It's going to lay in the going, uh, the binding. So that ain't too bad. So we can't get this right here now. There we go. Now we have this thing completely undone again. Whew. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Because it was like work. But it's worth it. It is well worth it whenever you, you want to make sure that the quilt looks good. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, without disturbing my furry friend over there, I'll put it on this side. And now I'm just going to start grabbing strings off. They should come off pretty easy. Get what I can, because Mama Cat, she's taking up space over there. This ain't too bad at all. Right All right, I think what I'll do is try to get that sewing machine back over here on this table and hook up the walking foot to it and we'll do a walking foot. I think that would be our best bet. And we'll do like stitching a ditch or something of that nature. So we'll be back as soon as I can coach Mama Cat to move. But look at all the thread. Look at that. And believe you me, it's well worth doing it this way to me. 